metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. Guys, listen. I have a question. Do you think I could be an inventor? Because people aren't very fair to hedgehogdom. You're always hearing stuff like, even a hedgehog could understand that. It's so simple. And that's hurtful. Don't forget about the calibration. Yeah, yeah. So I thought maybe hedgehogs would get some respect if I could invent something cool. <laughs> Eureka time! That sounds great! Mm -hmm. Will you pretty please teach me how to be an inventor? Oh. Huh? What did I say about the calibration? Now we'll have to change all the safety locks. I'm thinking we rearrange the poles. Then the delta will be greater than the alpha. Brilliant! That way we'll peak a whole cycle earlier! Ha, even a hedgehog could see that! <sighs> Guess I'll never become an inventor. It's too darn difficult. Poppycock! There's an endless line of simple, clever things just waiting to be invented. That's what my friend Irving was always saying. And he was a famous scientist and inventor. I'm not sure I've even heard of him. What did he invent, this Irving? Gosh, what didn't he invent? There's so many, like, um, light bulbs. No, he didn't. I know that the light bulb was invented by Edison. But Edison's light bulbs burned out too quickly, which was a big letdown to everybody. But Irving got the idea to pump gas into the light bulb. And that's when light bulbs started to shine brighter and last longer. What else did he invent? He also invented rain. Hey, you think I was born yesterday? Rain isn't something someone invented. It's just part of nature. But nature doesn't always make rain when it's needed, does it? What can be done then? Irving came up with a solution to this problem. You just have to disperse dry ice from a plane into the clouds. This way, the clouds cool down, and tiny drops of fog, of which these clouds are made, would turn into big drops of water and fall to the ground. Boom! Man-made rain. Seems simple. That it was. But he was the very first one to come up with it. The others were waiting for it to solve itself. At one time, Irving and I made this little bet that he could measure the length of one oil molecule, but without a microscope's help. But that's impossible. Yeah, I thought it was as well. But Irving just dropped some oil into water. He determined that when oil spreads on the surface of water, the layer it forms is very thin. Just one oil molecule thick. Then all he had to do was divide the volume of the oil by the surface area of the oil spot on the water. Boom! He had determined the length of an oil molecule without even touching a microscope. Mm. And this method works for other liquids as well. And because I was the loser of the bet, I had to strip to my underfeathers and crow like a rooster for an hour in front of the whole Nobel committee. <laughs> but how did he manage to invent this awesome stuff, this Irving? He just knew how to observe things and draw conclusions. The simplest of things frequently hide the very greatest inventions. 
just observe and draw conclusions? That's just what I'll do. Did I miss the worm? Ah, Chico. Well, Toby, have you invented anything yet? I've tried, and I learned all the really cool stuff has already been invented by dudes like Archimedes and Isaac Newton. Uh, let me explain a few things. Why, everybody's beaten me to everything. People like your friend Irving didn't leave anything for me to discover. Why'd they have to be so darn selfish? They could have thought of us future inventors. Well, that's not exactly true. Moose Eureka time! Wunderbar! <laughs> it works great! It works! It really works! <laughs> <laughs> My friends, in this cup is a substance which is impervious to every kind of decay and destruction. Voila! Congrats and stuff. Hey, what's wrong? Did we mess up somehow? He's yearning for a simpler time. But why? Right now's awesome! We just invented a life-altering substance! Yeah, yeah, this is a massive safety advancement. If we can cover the ship with this material, it will pretty much become indestructible. That is brilliant! We happen to be near a planet with an absolutely terrible climate! Hurricanes, tornadoes, acid rain! The perfect place to field test our new armor substance! Yeah, yeah, excellent. <laughs> Chico, a lot of inventors were frustrated like this at the beginning, but you can't quit just because it's hard. Even a hedgehog could see that. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean that, dear boy. <laughs> A horrible thunderstorm is coming! Just what we need! Yeah, yeah! We must cover the ship fast! Should hightail it out of here. We don't have time to get away. <laughs> How can we cover the entire ship with this little bit? Chico, even Irving didn't become an inventor overnight. There's no need to mope. A drop of oil. Yeah. Chico! 
Why didn't we strengthen the ship's hull before you landed us here on Killer Storm Wonderland? Let me give us your idea. Oh, so it was my idea. Well, if I had jumped off a cliff, would you have followed me? I invent. I pilot the ship. I can't think of every little thing. There's enough of this stuff to cover the entire ship, but the trick is we have to make the coat of the armor substance very, very thin. Here's how we do that. We have to submerge the ship in water and drop your super liquid on top. Because when we drop this liquid into the water, it should form a layer one molecule in thickness. Then we raise the ship through the layer, which will remain on it, covering it entirely. That's phenomenal! And economical as well! Wunderbar! With this method, we could completely cover ten spaceships with our super liquid. <laughs> it's curious, but I was well aware that liquids... <sighs> Ah, form layers on the surface of water that are only one molecule in thickness. I knew that as well, but it never occurred to me to use this method to paint something. I think that we should call this method of painting Chicoing. Chicoing will go down in history. Hedgehogs will be respected from now on. And I'm sure that this is only the first of many hedgehog inventions. I'm not sure. Um, one invention could just be enough. I gotta leave something for... future hedgehogs to invent. Historical Note Irving Langmuir was famous for a number of discoveries and inventions. And in 1932, he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Chemistry for his discoveries and investigations in surface chemistry. The coating Langmuir developed with his collaborator Catherine Blodgett is called the Langmuir Blodgett film, and the technique is used to this day. Unfortunately, history is silent on whether Irving was indeed a friend of Carlin's. <laughs>